Hey, Jen from EdTech. We're going to use wordclouds.com to create fun and creative eye-catching word clouds. You're going to click on File. And here you have, this is where you come back to to save your image, but we're going to go ahead and do a new word cloud. Okay, we have our new word cloud. And then we're going to go to Word List. And here in the Word List, we can edit the Word List, um, which will bring up a... Uh, what I like to do is I like to extract words from a text or a PDF or office document or web page. So we're going to go ahead and extract words from text today. I'm going to use my one word idea list and copy and paste our words from our students into my word cloud generator. And I'm going to make sure this space here, if you have a space like this, it will cause it to not apply the words. So make sure that your spacing is appropriate when you do that. Um, I'm going to apply. And as you're seeing, my words are popping up here on the word cloud. And I had quite a few words, so I'm going to stop it there. Then you have the option to choose this shape that you want your word cloud to be in. Um, it just depends on what you're doing. Since we are doing New Year's go-getter theme, I'm going to use a dove and you can search for icons that you want to use or shapes that you want to use. And so here's our two options. I'm going to use this one. Go ahead and close it. And again, it's going to go ahead and render our words into the dove shape. All right, it's all done rendering. Now the fun part, the creative part. We can choose the font. And I'm just gonna go simple. Um, I'm gonna do Arial, select, apply. And we're gonna see our words start to pop up in the Arial font. But they have lots of different fonts you can choose for, from, and I believe you can upload your own font if you wish to do so as well. Then you can go to direction, and you can choose the direction of your words. So if you want your words to all be vertical, you can choose that option. I like to use the random option. So you'll see it kind of puts the words all over the place, which is nice and kind of fun. Then you can choose the colors of your words. So you'll go here to theme, and I'm going to choose um, this purple theme. I think purple is a good theme for New Year's, and I'm going to go ahead and apply that. Okay, once it stops rendering, you can go ahead and close out that screen, and you can see here that it has applied the color screen, or excuse me, color scheme to our um, shape. You have options to mask. There's other options here. You can play around with what you like. Then once you've created your word cloud, you'll go to file and you're gonna save your image. I save it as a PNG. I'm gonna save it as Goal Getters 2022 and I'm gonna close and you'll see it pop up in just a sec. And here we have our image in our word cloud. And then you can go ahead and save that and upload it to your website, wherever, whatever you choose to do. Hope you have fun with your word clouds creations.